Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Val and I'm a lifestyle influencer and content creator and I love creating content for you. I'm all about health and wellness. I have always been just trying out different things to be healthier and feel better. Don't we all just wanna feel better in life? And today we are trying out Self Decode. With Self Decode, instead of finding out about your ancestry, you're gonna find out more about your genes and how to optimize your health and wellness which is amazing and is a concept that I have never seen. So I'm really excited to try this out. And basically how it works is the first step is that they will send you this DNA test kit and they basically just collect a sample of your saliva to collect your DNA. Then you send this back and you'll get your results hopefully very soon and you'll find out more about your genetic data, which I think is amazing. So I have partnered with Self Decode and they have sent me these kits for free and I'm giving you guys my true and honest review, showing you guys the process and how it works for me and my honest experience um, and this is what you get in your test kit so it comes in this little box and then you open it up so here is a quick overview of the process you register your kit at selfdecode.com and collect your DNA sample which is just a sample of your saliva um, place your sample in the specimen bag put the entire box in the return envelope mail the return envelope to us and then wait six to eight weeks once the results are ready you will be notified via email so it's super easy all you need to do is spit into a little tube and you're good to go and you register it in their website because that's where you're gonna have access to everything and if I'm not wrong I believe that they are like a subscription um, and they're I think they're constantly like updating it with more information because they have your DNA and I guess they like um, um, compare it against other people's DNA or whatever I'm so sorry like I'm honestly not very knowledgeable about these things but this is what you know this is what the average person trying this out would be going through I would like to clarify that what I mean is that Self-Decode compares your genetics to the general population to help determine your risk score Self-Decode values your privacy and protects your personal data this is what it comes with it comes with the instruction manual and then this is the actual saliva collection tube. So this is what it looks like, the little tube. And then there's a little, I don't know what that is. I guess, oh, it's a little like funnel to spit into. The specimen bag is in here. This one's the one where the, the little test tube will go into. Okay guys, so my boyfriend is back from the gym. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to be collecting our saliva samples. Just say, okay, remove the collection funnel. Okay, so we're gonna open it. This is the little tube where we need to spit into. So there's instructions here and also in the manual. What Put does the it spit say? up the dead line? <laughs> That's a lot of spit. <laughs> okay, so this is the tube. This is the tube and it looks like we need to spit up to here. So that's quite a bit. And there's like a solution in there. You just leave it in there. So remove the cap from the tube. Be careful, don't spill it. Okay. Keep the cap for later use. Screw the collection funnel onto the tube. Like so. Like so. <laughs> and then spit into the funnel until the level of the liquid in the tube, not including bubbles, reaches the four <laughs> milliliter line. Okay, so there we go. Does it go in? Ew. That's a lot. <laughs> Let's do this off camera meanwhile. Okay, we're done spitting into the tube. I feel so grossed out. But anyway, so we're done spitting into it. Now we need to unscrew this. Yuck. Ew. Um, yeah, so replace the tube cap tightly, discard the funnel, and then shake the collection tube several times to mix the saliva with a solution. Yeah, so there's a little bag in your kit, and you're gonna place it in here. Biohazard. I quickly before I forget so you're supposed to register your kit before you mail it out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that it says register your DNA kit oh and then you just input the DNA sample to barcode so the DN the the saliva tube has a little barcode and so you're just gonna input that um that number in here and then register it it's going to ask you a bunch of questions like what are your primary concerns and stuff like that what do you want to work on and so yeah they just ask you a bunch of questions about your lifestyle as well and what you want to focus on so we're just going to like leave, put it back in the box how it was with the little specimen and then they give you some pre like the little fedex bag and the prepaid label you mail it back and you're good to go and then in six to eight weeks we will get our results and we will come back and let you guys know what our results are i'm so excited and yeah okay, okay. bye 
Okay guys, we're back. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope 2022 will be an amazing year for you. But I got my results back from Self Decode and so I'm really interested and I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got for my results. We got our results back about pretty much a month later, pretty much exactly a month later. And they do say that it can take anywhere from like six to eight weeks or something like that to get your results back. So it will take a little bit of time, but thankfully um, we got them pretty quickly. The whole process to register and everything was really easy, um, but I did end up messing it up. I think because I had two kits, I had my boyfriend's and I had mine and I think I ended up mixing it up. I don't know what I did, but anyway, I ended up like registering it to the wrong person so that was really weird but i contacted support and they helped me out really quickly when you get your results you are able to log into the self decode website and you're able to access your profile and your dna file and all of that as you can see you can see the shape of a person and that is me and you can see all of these areas of interest and these are the areas that, that they have made a report on for me I've got everything here i've got from brain diet and nutrition gut health inflammation skin bone there's literally tons of results on this so i'm gonna go and tell you guys about the most interesting ones for me because i don't really want to go through every single thing with you guys it's gonna take way too long um but let's go through some of the most interesting ones that i like ran to check i wanted to see if they were accurate so first of all let's go to skin um so first up we have it'll tell you i think that's so interesting how it shows you the little face um if it's like a sad red face it's like you're at high risk of that specific issue so the first one that i ran to check was the skin one because i already i wanted to make sure and see if it sounded accurate to my case so we're gonna check acne here and um, so there's an introduction, a report summary, introduction, risks, overview, and recommendations. This is what each report will give you. Here it'll show you how this works. So this is how you can understand how self decode works. It says our wellness reports analyze how your DNA influences your health. We then use this analysis to give you personalized risk estimates and recommendations. Your DNA is like an instruction manual. It contains a lot of information. You can think of it as a blueprint for your body. We use artificial artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze all this information. In total, we analyze up to 83 million genetic variants. Um, genetic variants are parts of DNA that differ from person to person. Some can make you more vulnerable to certain health issues while others may have no effect on health. This report will find the variants in your DNA that have an effect on your health. We then summarize your results as a risk score. The risk icon tells you if you are at a higher or lower risk compared to other people. They'll give you top evidence-based recommendations that may help you lower your risk. Um, the focus is on recommendations that may be of benefit to you based on your genetics. So there are three um, categories for these recommendations, which are dietary, lifestyle, and supplements. Um, so it's pretty comprehensive. Uh, when it comes to like the little recommendations that they give you and all of that. Let's get into my report finally. Uh, let's talk about me and what risks I have because of my DNA. So we're gonna look at acne because this one was the number one that I was like, if this sounds accurate, then it's, you know, it sounds more interesting to me. So acne, slightly increased risk of acne, which is interesting because I feel like that should have been like high risk because I've had acne since I was 13. But I mean, it does say slightly increased risk of acne um which is true i do have acne i've always had acne it's like the number one thing that bothers me <laughs> interesting to see it here and then they give me some recommendations like salicylic acid light therapy for skin limit dairy intake topical green tea and chemical peels um which are great recommendations i already knew all of these because again i've dealt with this for a long time so i already like do all of these things um, except for limit dairy intake that is like the number one thing that i've always said i really think that dairy is like the biggest um issue when it comes to my acne i think that it's the thing that triggers it the most and it's the thing that i eat the most so i'm just good to see uh light therapy for skin um because uh i've always i do really believe in light therapy and some people say that they don't believe in it as much but i personally really believe in it also with the recommendations they'll show you a little like impact scale as well as an evidence scale um and then it'll show you like so for example salicylic acid um has a very strong impact on acne according to them 
uh, and the evidence is how much scientific support there is for the recommendation and seems like there's a lot and then it'll give you an introduction um, and it'll talk about everything like what is acne and then says some facts like around 85% of people develop acne between the ages of 12 to 24 so for skin um, I only had two reports generated with which were psoriasis I hope I'm pronouncing that right I think that is right psoriasis and acne those are the only two reports that I got I didn't get any other reports so I'm assuming that is because those are the ones that are available but also those because those are the ones that are most interesting to me because are the ones that affect me but yeah those are the only ones that they're showing me maybe it's different from person to person yeah psoriasis it says increased risk of psoriasis which is very interesting it says limit alcohols practice moderate sun, sun exposure topical aloe vera relaxation techniques maintain a healthy weight um interesting because i don't have psoriasis that i know of i've never had it hopefully i never develop it i don't even really fully know what psoriasis is mm, it's where patches of red and itchy skin build up interesting uh, evidence suggests that the cause of the condition is partly genetic. I don't know anyone in my family that has psoriasis, I don't think. Um, but I do get itchy skin sometimes, so I wonder, but I don't think I have it. Let's look at some other ones that I found very interesting. So, of course, I went to brain, stuff like that. Oh, let's get into this one. So, if you want to skip, um, my results you guys can skip forward a little bit but i just want to show you kind of what i got because i'm sure a lot of you would be curious to see what kind of reports you might get mood swings so the reports that were generated for my brain were mood swings mood attention and fatigue which you will be um interested to know that all of them are like high risk <laughs> just fantastic mood swings increased risk um not surprised i but it, you know okay this is why like i was really interested to do self-decode because i really wanted to kind of um get confirmation for some of the things so like acne i got confirmation i know i have it um but things like this like mood swings like i genuinely genuinely always thought like there's something like a little bit wrong with me and like um yeah apparently i'm at high risk and i didn't know that that could be a genetic thing i thought that was more to do just with like your environment but i guess it might be like genetic and uh, yeah so high risk for mood swings and i most definitely have really bad mood swings so another thing that i found very interesting is that they do give you a lot of information like it, it does go quite into detail sometimes if you want to read the whole report on each thing. Um, so if you read this one for mood swings, for example, it says, if you carry a certain variant of the OPRM1 gene, you may respond better than others to mindfulness-based talk therapy as a mood balancing technique. Similarly, exercise may be a better mood stabilizer for those who carry specific variants of the BDNF gene. Why am I not surprised about all these things? Like, these are all confirmations for me. Um, so increased risk of chronically low mood. <laughs> like, oh my god, my poor boyfriend. Like, I feel so bad for him. So these are all things that are, I genuinely am very appreciative to be able to confirm and and know that I'm like not crazy you know what I mean like I know that I'm like this but it's good to know that there's a reason why and it's not that I'm like crazy or anything it's that maybe I'm just wired like that a little bit it's not just my personality you know what I mean like I do try but I guess I'm kind of at a disadvantage let's look at attention so attention says I'm slightly increased risk of ADHD uh, I'm not this is not a diagnosis. That's another thing about self decode They're not by any means an actual diagnosis because even though this might be in your genes It doesn't actually mean that that is your current state um, So this is not a diagnosis, but it's just something that you can keep an eye on um, But again, you know yourself best and so you would probably be like, whoa, this makes so much sense So I do definitely think that I have ADHD at least to a certain extent uh, for sure but I don't have a diagnosis or anything like that, but this really makes sense. It's a slightly increased risk of fatigue um, and then um, some recommendations like optimize sleep, relaxation techniques, address food sensitivities, iron, um, stay hydrated, creatine. 
Um, so yeah, like I, these all make so much sense to me because let me tell you, I'm always tired and I go through phases where like, I'm genuinely just always exhausted. Like I just, and I'm like, what is wrong with me? And like, I don't know. Of course, there are so many things that you can do to lower your risk or to make these things a little bit better. Um, again, it's not a diagnosis, but I'm self-diagnosing myself because I know that I do have a lot of these issues. And so they are giving you very useful um, tidbits of information. Let me show you one that shook me to my core. Um, wait. So there is a little weight um, report and it says increased risk of being overweight or obese. This one hurt right here in the heart. It's just very interesting for me to see this one because this one I was kind of shocked about. I have had um, a hard time losing weight lately. As I'm getting older, I feel like it's getting like harder to lose weight. But also, let me just say my lifestyle habits are horrendous. So at the same time, I'm not like, at the same time, I'm like, there's a reason why you're not losing weight, okay? Like, I'm not even trying. But the thing is, like, obviously comparing myself to when I was younger, I could, like, I was always just very thin growing up. I, I've never been, like, even slightly overweight or anything. So, um, yeah, it's just something to watch because clearly this could be an issue for me. And I'm starting to see it now because I have been kind of struggling with my weight. And let me tell you guys something. So this is a funny little side story. But when I went to India, I went to India when I was like 19 and I got certified to be a yoga teacher. And when I was there, um, I went to this Ayurvedic doctor and I went with a friend and we just got like a little session and he gave me a lot of, I can't remember because this was so long ago, but he gave me a lot of recommendations and I felt like he was kind of off with a lot of things that he said. That's why I like took it with a grain of salt. I was like, ah, oh, maybe it's like not that accurate. But one, and you know, one of the reasons why I was also like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about was because he said to me, you need to be careful because you are at risk of being overweight. What? <laughs> I was like, you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, like in my mind, I was like, okay, because I was so, even then I was like so skinny and I had never really, um, had a problem with gaining weight a lot or anything like that. So I was like, okay sir like look at me i'm so skinny like what are you talking about um so i was like okay like i'll keep it in my mind and it's always been in the back of my mind and i've always been like i'm gonna prove this guy wrong and like <laughs> my results are not helping and so he was onto something he was correct he was most probably very very correct about everything he said um, okay anyway moving on insomnia so insomnia high risk of in insomnia again i'm just feeling like this was a very very accurate um analysis and so i like to see that like i'm i'm feeling like this i can identify with these results i have insomnia like right now let me tell you right now it's like 2 a.m so <laughs> why am i filming this at 2 a.m i need help i was very curious to see my thyroid um so there's a thyroid um little tab my mom does have issues with her thyroid and she's always been super healthy that is really like the only thing that she had going on that's really stressed her out health wise so i was like mm, okay I want to see that and it does say i'm slightly increased risk of hypothyroidism and that's what my mom has actually so not great not fantastic not great and again all of these things are tied in together like for example it says maintain a healthy weight um that can help that's a recommendation for um this hypothyroidism issue and so it all ties in right like if i don't take care of my weight i'm impacting everything so good to know um it says vitamin d i definitely don't take enough vitamin d so these are all very good recommendations and things that i can do easily from home anyway we're gonna go over one more um area of interest that i wanted to share with you guys so there is a pcos dna wellness report um which i think let's look at it together babes because if you're a woman and you're watching this i think that this is a very interesting one to to see um as a woman so yeah genetic overview so yeah i'm at an average risk of pcos um which i'm surprised about i thought it was going to be high risk because i do have like my cousin has pcos and i did get diagnosed a very long time ago when i was younger um someone said that i was at high risk of pcos um, again, this is not a diagnosis. That does not mean that I don't have it. It just means that I'm not at super high risk. I also found it very interesting because I have way more um, like little red dots than my boyfriend does. 
why do I have all these issues and he doesn't have that many? Shocking, but okay. And one thing that I did find weird about my boyfriend's um, results was that there is for hormone health, like female fertility reports, which doesn't make sense. I'm not sure why these would even be generated if he is a man, but for example, it says like he's at high risk for PCOS or whatever, and then high risk for... Um, female infertility, which I just find very, very strange. I'm not sure why it's even showing that. I just find that very strange and disturbing. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about um, my opinion on self-decode. So when I got my results, I checked everything out and I looked at um, all of my results and everything and I found some of them very interesting. And then I did um, contact their support and I asked to do a call because I did have a lot of questions. Um, as for how it works and everything so let me tell you a little bit about just like my my opinion on it and my experience with it so the dna test was super easy it was very easy to complete sending it out was super easy i received it fairly quickly um but then once you get your results you go ahead and you log into your um, account and then you're able to see the little shape of your body and then it'll show you all of these different reports but you need to download every single report if you want to see it not everything is readily available which is very confusing to me uh, so every single report that they give you and they can give you like tons of reports on everything right so like brain health stomach health everything right um they'll give you all of these reports and you have to download every single one of them to be able to see it which that is a little bit annoying because like what's the point um so you do have to download it and i did ask and she said that it's because um it is so basically what it does is that their algorithm basically analyzes your dna it just analyzes it with um all of their findings all of these other dnas and it just basically matches the data every time that you want to look at a report they need to like the the their technology is generating it that same moment um so that's why it can take a little bit for it, it to generate sometimes it can take like i don't know like 10 20 minutes reports are constantly updating and constantly they're constantly showing you more so even though you do one dna test they might actually give you more information later down the line i do find their site a little bit difficult to navigate maybe that's just me i have a hard time with technology in general so maybe it's just me but i do have a hard time kind of navigating it and finding the reports and stuff like that i do like it's very user friendly but at the same time not so when i asked their representative we talked for the longest time we had like a one hour chat i asked her like a million questions because i really wanted to understand and that's one thing that i will say self decode has great um customer service they really care about what they're doing and they really care about their mission and she said that they do have a lot of plans to add a lot of new features um and that they will ha be having you know just much more information on there and stuff like that i told her i had a bit of a hard time navigating their website and she said that the first version of self deco that they had was very very complex like they gave too much information and people were confused it was just too much i mean dna is not an easy topic especially if you know nothing about it so what they're trying to do is give you very very easy to digest information about your dna you can also shop labs and you can get um lab tests done which i think is super cool this is only available in the u.s i'm in canada so i would not be able to do this able to get like home testing kits which i think is very cool i think that you can get at home testing kits for these and then you just send it to them and then they'll analyze it for you and they'll upload it here so that's awesome that you're able to do um, blood tests straight from home i think that that's awesome there's like everything here there's autoimmunity there's anti-aging panel there's tons of stuff but i will say that it is really expensive so yeah for example if you wanted to do bone health panel it is 417 dollars for members and 834 dollars for non-members so it is definitely pricey but it just depends on what you're trying to achieve. You know, if it's very important to you, obviously you're gonna wanna do it, right? Although I found that very interesting, I do wish that there were just more shocking pieces of information for me here. Um, and another thing is, again, as I said, this is not a diagnosis by any means. All in all, I love how convenient it is. You can do it from the comfort of your home. Their team is incredibly responsive and super sweet. Um, I love the idea and I, I understand what they're trying to do, but I do just wish that there was more. I think that if they incorporated something like 
ancestry like an ans like if this was an ancestry test and i was able to see like where i came from and my ancestry and all of that stuff um that in itself would already be worth it but to have the health reports also that would already be like such an added value but the fact that you're only getting this is just a little bit conflicting to me like i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel about it that was some something that i also looked into their reviews and that's something that a lot of people said as well that it was too vague like i'm seeing this but what can i do with this information because it is a little bit pricey it, it is pricey it's like you have to pay for an annual membership and then you have to pay for the dna test so it's not super cheap and so i just i'm hoping to see a lot of these improvements um, but as I said, they are a startup. They're growing so much right now. So time will tell. But I do find that it is a very interesting concept. I've seen a lot of um, ancestry tests, a lot of DNA tests where you can find out where you came from and stuff like that. And I love those. I do plan to do one of those very soon and I'll share my results with you guys. Um, so I've seen a ton of those, but I haven't really seen anything like self-decode. So I love that this is very health oriented. And I love that they are trying to make it like a one-stop shop for all of your health needs, blood tests, all of that. I think that that's amazing. What do you guys think based on what I've told you and what you've seen about my results and all of that? What would you give it? Would you buy this? Is this something that you would be interested in? Um, if yes, why? And if not, why? Let me know. These reviews are so helpful if you've been looking for something like this. If you guys are interested, I do have a discount code. You guys can use a discount VAL10 for 10% off. I will leave my affiliate link down below if you would like to get um, a DNA test of your own and try it out and get to know more about your health. Um, you guys can click on that link and use my discount code and get a discount. And let me know what you guys think. Did you find this helpful? Do you want any more information on it? I hope to see you in the next video. Stay safe and healthy. I'll see you very soon. Bye.